what's the, the mindset of a veteran as y'all get ready to open up the exhibition season this week against Detroit? Yeah, um, just get ready to get ready for the season and go out there and compete and, you know, make sure everything tuned up, fired up, ready to go by the time week one come. And, uh, you know, so I'm excited to be able to just get back playing some football. That coach said, hey, everybody's healthy, we're going to play. I absolutely. To, you know, the other absolutely, coaches. absolutely. Without a doubt, I'm super excited about that. And, um, you know, uh, I mean, that's what we signed up to do, to play football, you know. And uh, so that's that's a super exciting part. Get out there, get some competition in, and uh, see where you're at, and get yourself, your body tuned, ready to go. Great, Andy. And looking back to last year, what was the biggest obstacle in terms of the group trying to get a consistent pass rush in the game? Um, you know, I think – Maybe, I mean, looking back on it, you know, there were some opportunities there where we uh, had as a group, we let them off the hook a couple times. We had a couple free hitters on some blitzes a couple times and then just getting everybody on the same page. But you know, the most important thing right now is looking forward to this whole new group of guys and making the best thing we got with this unit and we're excited for this year. We don't have an obvious 15, 20 sack guy on the roster. How do you, what's the best way to try to go out and create pressure? You know, just with this group we got now, we're excited about, you know, what's to come in the pass rush and for the whole defense. And uh, I think it's going to be some good football out there. And, um, you know, we're tuning up, ready to go, motivated to get to the quarterback. Anybody stand out to you? Uh, I think everybody working, working well together as a group. I think the games will tell a lot for uh, a lot of guys. And, you know, we're getting their first NFL action and some that they first action with the Falcons and, you know, under Coach P's and stuff like that. So, and every year is a new year. So I'm excited. Brady, what would you say to this group? You got a bunch of young dudes. Yeah, without a doubt, without a doubt, you don't, you definitely want to go out there and represent anytime you have the opportunity to play um, a game in the NFL because you're not only playing for the team you plan for or the team you're going against. You plan against for all 32 teams in the NFL. You know, um, there's only a couple. I mean, a limited amount of roster spots for everybody on the roster. But I mean, you go out there, you know, so so you a baller. I mean. You, you make a name for yourself. You know, you're everybody individual contractor at this league. You know what I'm saying? So go out there. If you're worried about being tired, being this, this, and that, your mind in the wrong place. You know, you got to worry about, you know, playing the game that you love, making big plays when they're there, and uh, just go out there and have fun. You know, it could be um, – I remember my first preseason game, and it is a little, you know, like a little – I don't want to say overwhelming, but it's kind of like, a, you know, your heart being like, I'm on, I'm on the NFL field playing. But uh, once that go, you know, you play the game that you've always been playing, and uh, that's that's the, kind of my message to him. Just go out there, have fun, and, um, and you know, I go out there, do my part, and you know, set the example for them how to do it, and maybe they follow up. Do you help the young guys out here, like during practice, uh, between snaps and stuff? Yeah, without a doubt, always have, always will, and uh, that's 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 my um, that's my role. You know, lead them by example day in and day out, and be able to help and serve whoever need help. Yeah, Cardi. Hey. Um, what did you learn from Coach Young when he was here, 17, 19, saw him going to the hall over the weekend? Yeah. Uh, what did he bring to your game that you still have? Yeah, without a doubt. So, man, you know, first four, man, congrats. Man, it definitely was an honor to be able to be coached by Coach Young, and I'm super happy for him being in the Hall of Fame, well-deserved. And uh, he was somebody that I'm super happy that I got to spend some, some time with, a lot of time with, and um, we, grow, we um, grew a relationship, you know, that was much deeper than football. And, uh, so he definitely motivates me with him being obviously a Hall of Fame player, but then just telling me some tips and things to think about as a player, you know, just being, being aggressive and just my routine throughout the week. And um, he was just helped me talk through how, to, how do I handle the week um, as well, too, because during a time where he was coaching me, I was in like a, you know, like third year, you know, third, fourth year. And it was um, important for me to, you know, take that next step. And he was somebody who helped me get there, you know, and um, so, you know, call him the OG 97, man. So, you know, he, he always messed with me, 09797. So he always told me he was proud of how I represent the number and stuff like that. So that made me feel good. And uh, but super, super excited for him and his family. And uh, had a wonderful um, speech and just motivated. And, uh, you know, just somebody who's just, just a good dude, man, but straight dog competitor, man. And just somebody who really showed, you know, no excuses, you know. Whatever life may throw at you, you got to keep going, you know, keep motivating, keep working, you know through injuries and losses. I mean, he's just somebody that you could just learn from in so many different ways. How many, how many preseason snaps do you need? How do you look at these three games personally? I don't need very many. I mean, I'm very, I mean, however I need to go, you know, whatever Coach C fit for me. And, uh, you know, I'm going out there ready to prepare up to the point that they take me out. I'm preparing like it's a regular game, you know. At the end of the day, whenever you get to step on that field, it's a blessing. You know, and I'm going to treat it with that respect and go out there and have fun and do my thing. And uh, 
I'm excited to be able to get 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 going early this year and uh, get 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 just get feeling back that live action. You know what I'm saying? So I'm super super excited, man, and um, looking forward to having a really good preseason. Meeting so far, training camp. How do you, how's the uh, how's training camp been for you? <laughs> training camp been fun. Like it's hard for me to like, explain it to you because it's just like. What they doing here and bringing so many like new receivers in and on um, the competition level, it's making me better and it's also helping me like get to know a lot of different guys that come from different situations, and also get the chance to, like pick their brains because some of these guys came from different teams, you know, been through what I've been through, you know, and it's, it's really been helpful for me. So every day I just always be looking forward to come out here and improve. And that wide receiver room is really different. You have a lot of unique, whether it's veterans, a lot of rookies, young guys. Where, uh, what have you learned from them so far? Yes. What, uh, what's that experience been like? <laughs> the experience has been fun. You know, it's been fun. You know, me and OZ are the ones that actually really just came back together. So me and his connection is, like, tight. But everybody else, man, I just felt like, like the love they brought in, it was never no, um, it was never no, like it was never no negative energy coming from like like none of them. Like you go out there do a rap, I do a rap, and we all happy for each other. And when we go out there and make a play, you know, especially that's that's what we was trying to build during OTAs too, just that that love in the group, you know, wanting to support each other because that's how you gonna be good or do better, you know. And it's just been great, you know, so far and everything. And sometimes you just wish the room could stay like that, but you know, it's like it's a job. We gotta just keep competing each and every day and. Another thing, too, for me, it's just me just taking the little things they be doing out there, putting it in my bag, how he ran his release that way, how he did his route that way. You know, it's just all the little things, like I was saying before, it's just like they helping me grow, helping me grow into an like, NFL player I know I want to be. Anything in particular that stood out so far that you learned from somebody yet so far in this training camp? Um, you know, me and OZ always talk, and one day he always just tell me, just keep going. Keep going. Um, when you break free on some of your releases, just start thinking about it as routes on air. Don't think too much, you know. And then another thing too, because it was like at the time, and the at the time when we first started, I had let one pass go, and he was just like, "Friend, you gotta just relax and breathe, breathe. Like when you got your break, Frank, just breathe." So, since I've been doing that, I've been making some plays. It's like that's why I was like, "Yo, oh, is he? I thank you so much for telling me that because I'm always up tight, getting on my break, waiting for the ball to come." He said, "Just relax, breathe. Like you've been doing it for so long." So. That's one thing I really like. I, that's a takeaway for me this past like OTAs and going into camp. Going off of that, how much have you seen OZ over the last two years kind of grow into this leader in this group? Because I mean, L's room looks so different than it did this time last year. You know, OZ just you know he know what he what's his situation. You know, every day he coming ready to work. And just me being just looking at him and knowing that he coming here, taking care of his body, coming out here, running route. Um, being over reliable, that's why I call him over reliable because everybody loves him, especially like the, you know, the head coach. Everybody just loves OZ because he know everybody's responsibility. You know, he know everything in the playbook. You could put him anywhere and he gonna go out there and do it at a high level. So, and I remember I came in, I was just telling my position coach, like, I wanna be an OZ right now. I wanna be an OZ, like, whatever y'all need me to do, whatever, like, assignment, any job y'all want me to do, I wanna do it for y'all at a high level. And just him just watching him grow from like last year to this year, it's like, oh, he know he trying to he trying to go and get something. So I'm just like, oh, let me just fall behind, let him do what he do, yeah. and just keep picking up as he going, you know, and that's a good thing for me right now. And we like we close and I just I'm happy to be able to play with him and looking forward to the season and go out there and do it with him. That's awesome. And it's really cool, I think, too, this position group, y'all's position group is so like what I was saying, different than what what it looked like last year in terms of like even Lottie style. Y'all have a bunch of different guys that you can utilize in a bunch of different ways. How much are y'all talking about, like, hey, you know, sometimes the situation is going to need these three guys or versus these three guys? How much are y'all constantly talking about the versatility you feel like you have in the room? Oh, no, we just really control what we control. When our number called, it's let's go, you know? And if your number not called, we're going to sit back, not going to pout. Yeah. Let's go, let's go out there and make a play. Let's do this right now. That's just how I am. You know, I want everybody around me to go out there and do good, you know? We done been through so much to get to this level, so why like, start pouting and doing everything? Like, basically, why stop pouting and getting down on yourself now, you know? So whatever I could do to push somebody to keep going, especially in my receiver room, like, go out there and make a play. Work on your craft today, you know? Because I just know that's what I'm doing. And I, and I want to do that too, you know? But, you know, it's just all because sometimes, I'll be feeling like sometimes people will forget that. Right. You know, they'll forget it, you know, just want to go out here, go do the motions, everything. So that's why I see me always happy with energy and everything. So, like, I just know the room. If Frank going, we all got to go. And that's just how it is. That's how it's been since. Every, like, since training camp started, everybody just been going. You see me over here trying to get us pumped, get us going, everybody dance, la ha And then that's when they lock in. I try to not say too much to them, you know, because I already know everybody go through their own phase and stuff. But 
But yeah, though, but if they go, if they want, we in the red zone, we need big buzz out there, let's go and do it. Yeah. We all about winning here, and that's what we want to do. So whatever Coach Art need the, need the person that would be out there, let's do it. And we're going to support him from the sideline because I just know he's going to give everybody a chance. Love it. I, no. So, you know, y'all, this, y'all's draft class. I think it's a very interesting group and something that I feel like I've noticed with y'all out here, just talking about your draft class in, in particular, is that there is a specific jump that you as a player can make from year one to year two. Yeah. And it very much feels like this draft class is making that jump. You guys just heard him? That's what I was about to say. <laughs> I ain't even gonna lie, he walked out like, do y'all see D Hall? That's what that's what I want like you yeah. know, like I see the way D Hall been boiling and every day I'll be like, yo, I need that one on one rep. Right. Like I don't know where you went and where you've been working at, where you've been training, but you done gotten so much better than last year. And with me too, I'll be telling them like, especially when you know I know I'm be part of teams and everything, I'll be telling them, like, I ain't scared no more. Like, I felt last year I was nervous, didn't know what to expect, you know, really just really going through the motions, trying to figure out everything, just know if I was going to play or not. You know how it is being a rookie, like, a lot of things be up and down. So when that, my name was called, I was more nervous. And then being like, all right, let's go. So right now I feel like it's all right, let's go. You know, like, let's go. Now I'm about to show y'all what's up now, you know, because I know what I'm about to go out there and expect now, you know. I done got my weight up, I done got my brain ready, you know, I'm knowing everything I gotta do, going up there, trying to do the extra work. You know, just basically what Coach Art always told me to do last year was be a better pro. And I always started acting around, especially with Grady, you know, when Casey came in and everything, like, how y'all be pros? And then Marlo, you know, he been in the league for so long, you know, undrafted, and then, like, speaking to him, too. So, it's like I was saying before, like, I pick from everybody that come in here, and I'm just like, I got to be a better pro. And that's been really good for me lately. Like, I'm like, oh, why he stay out there and get something? If he ain't hurt, he get something done. So, I'm like, all right, let me just go in here and just get something done. Even though I'm always feeling good. Like, I'm like, I got to go in here and try to do something. Like, you know what, can you just stretch me, I guess? Like, I'd like do something. They can always say, do something, go sit in the tub, go do this. You know, if you got extra times, go study the playbook, rewrite them over. You know, you get tired of it. That'd be the thing. Like, you get tired of it, but you can't get tired of it. You know, because when you get in a situation where you got to think, you don't want to be, oh, snap, like, I had a brain for it. Yeah. And it's fourth quarter, you know, five seconds left, you got to run around and get somebody else open. Like, you know, so that's been the main thing about me just, it's trying to be ready and be prepared because I just know my name going to be cool, especially the Detroit game. Like, I'm on edge right now, and I can't wait to go out there and play. Like, it's, 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 it's a different feel. It's been a long time since I've been in the field like, at the receiver spot, too. So right. I'm going to get that chance to go out there and try to do something. Oh. I just want to score so bad. <laughs>